Hello everybody and welcome back to a new video on my YouTube channel. I'm Nicholas and today we're back with part 2 of my uh, and hyphen first album repackage uh, Dimension answer reaction plus review in part one i already talked about how the original upload of this for the original album got blocked but now with one more song added i can split this into two parts and now it makes sense and copyright freaking sucks it's all i can tell you about it but at least i can now finally have these reactions up on the channel in full so without further ado let's stop the talking let's start the reacting part two of my uh and hyphen first album repackage i mentioned answer reaction plus review with the final three beats out of the album enjoy Let's get into this. And hyphen blockbuster featuring John John of TXT. Let's watch it. Hold on. Hop in, big drills, just showing it all the time. I drink now in the gear, boy, I'm just boring vibe. Dive of so he's taken, turn she got signed a unit five. Shaw man, grind it, focus on me, don't miss in my movie time. No hands, I got a big head, how do you get your name? Keep running and fighting, dig out what she up with your name. Feel like I'm in paradise, come here, it's on. Screen and so take it, so man, come and get on the boy. Way out, way out, of southern and the cold guy. The audio quality from the upload I don't think is so high, but... Hold on! This is what I needed. I talked about it in the video, I was not able to upload. I needed a song. Wait a second. Wait. Bridge or like chorus outro. Lord, okay. In my reaction video, I was not able to upload. I said the one and hyphen song I need is basically the Stray Kids formula heavy, flow variated verses, 
into melodic pre-choruses into a lengthy full chorus. Voila! Blockbuster, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my lord, they will need it for minutes too? What? Oh my god, this song is incredible. This song is absolutely... Like, we had it in... um. Oh, how was the name of it? The recent, the first Japanese song, we reacted to that as well. It was more like of a B-side, you know, it wasn't time track or a music video. So it was like, they did a Japanese version of Junk Days, I think, and then just added that as B-side there as original song. And then it also went into a heavy guitar riff, and I was like, oh my god, oh my god. Are we getting heavy and hype in that sense? But no, then went into more, you know, like a fool, basically. Like, they fooled me there in that point, but here it is time. Oh, the way this song kicked in, the way this riff alone kicks in here. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I literally, ah, damn it! It took, it took only two songs to see my next contender for favorite, and I have a B side. God damn it! That's what I mean. Oh man, just a little bit is the total opposite of this song, but these two definitely. Absolutely blew me away upon the first listening. Oh lord, and Ivan's blockbuster. God damn, the way the verses are this time. John John really, really fantastic feature. He really adds a lot to the song, you know? That was really, really good. But the other members are also in the verses. That was what I meant. Finally, some flow variation. And Nicky, like, bam, he, he kicked in there too. That's what I needed. That's an Ivan song I needed. Because the, the, the pre chorus and the chorus again. Also more heavy, because they still have that riff, and the banging kicks and drums, and the bass that busts right into your eardrums. But still has that N hyphen flavor to it, basically. The very melodic and soothing sound. Very full, very lengthy. Ooh. Hell yeah. That's the N hyphen song I needed, basically. And Hyphen's blockbuster featuring John John of TXT. Oh my god, this was the B-side slash and Hyphen song that I wanted, that I needed, and I got it, and I'm insanely satisfied with it. That along with just a little bit, 100% my favorite and Hyphen B-sides. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Um, only thing I can nitpick, but it's actually more, you know, I feel like this will sound even better when I re-listen to it on Spotify because I think the... The upload of this um, had low quality, or it's because I watched it on low quality. I don't know, but it wasn't as crisp as the other songs. I think this will sound even better on Spotify. God damn! And Ivan's Blockbuster, along with just a little bit of favorite song of this album, favorite B side in an Ivan's discography. Insanely much fun with this, enjoyed it a lot. Let's move on to our final song of today. And Ivan's Attention, please. Oh. Why did that remind me instantly of Nirvana for some reason? Ooh! Yeah! 2000s! Pop punk! Punk pop! Punk pop rock, you know what I mean. I know Nirvana isn't that big of a boy, I call it, you know what I mean? Ooh! Yeah, this is. Big 2000s flavor. Or like late 90s flavor. Come on, give me this chorus, come on. Ooh. We actually got two heavy and hyphen songs in the same album in a row. Ooh. Okay, see? Oh my god! Oh. The verses are way softer than the chorus, which makes sense, but they still sound great. They don't feel as just being there like it is for, for the title tracks. I don't know. The verses just be so much more prominent here. And then. Oh my god! Oh, but this one have a bridge, right? Oh no. Ooh. Oh 
Oh my god. The reason why Dream Catch is my favorite group is because the rock influence. And here. Oh. Oh my god, this album is... Oh! Guys, y'all gotta calm down. Actually, don't, but... Oh lord. I said 20 minutes ago during my just a little bit reaction. Okay, this is my favorite B-side. It did two songs in a row. The last two songs of the album immediately say, I heard you talking, bro. Here we are. What's up now? Oh my goodness. Wow, this is really this is really a first because I'd straight up say upon the first listening of all these three songs, damn, I I enjoy all these B-sides more than the title track. Like, um, the three I mentioned now, just a little bit, block bars and attention, please. I think I enjoy all of these in 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 uh, instantly more than Tadra again. May I dare to say they're like my favorite in hyphen songs, actually? Like, let's, I wouldn't, no, no, let's not compare this. Let's not now compare the three title tracks with these three B-sides. But these three B-sides, and now attention, please, as well, are exactly my thing. Oh... That chorus drop for the first time was... Boom. God damn. This is... Literally... When I hopefully be able to get that reaction out, or when I have to split it or whatnot... Will I want to put it in here? I'm not sure actually if it would take too long to find that exact quote from my reaction, but... I said I want a heavy and high song. A really heavy one. Not just heavy in the EDM, but a heavy in the rock. Or in the, you know, and this is exactly what I wanted, exactly what I needed from them because they had that great group dynamic, that great sound, and this is magic. This is incredible. I really consider just a little bit Blockbuster's Attention Please my three favorite in hyphen songs without categorizing these because, like mentioned, Attention Please and Blockbuster, funnily enough, these aren't like even. They all like obviously both heavy, but they're still so far going away from each other. It's not like they just copy pasted these songs, you know. But what an ending to this album! Wow, like the first half is very poppy, very poppy EDM heavy, and then the final two songs are straight up punk rock. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! And Hyphen's attention, please, alongside just a little bit and Blockbuster, my favorite and Hyphen songs for sure. And that is just. I, I can't remember the last time I really said straight away, damn, I'm enjoying this piece more than the entire track. Not because I don't enjoy the title track. I mean, Tame Dash is awesome too. Very catchy chorus, addicting song straight away. But this is just exactly my thing. That is my style. That is the an hyphen song I wanted and I needed. And I'm so happy right now because this album, ladies and gentlemen, on loop for the rest of the day, for sure. And Hyphen's attention, please. Final song, final B side of their first album, Dimension Dilemma. What an album it is. God damn, this group just absolutely blows through the roof at the moment for all the right reasons. Let's say it like this The first two mini albums, I really enjoyed them, but none of these songs made me feel as these three did. Like, I knew I liked this, I enjoyed this, but it's not on a one of my favorite B-sides or title tricks of the year level, but this definitely is. Woo! And Hyphen's attention, please. Finish to this album. Absolutely incredible album. Now I need to add this to my already way too long list of favorite albums of the year. Insanely much fun with this. Enjoyed it a lot. Now, if you enjoyed my reaction. And now, a lot of time between the uh, recordings of the first five B-sides and the only new B-side um, added to the album repackaged Dimension Answer. We now are going to be checking out Polaroid Love, the final B-side of their first album repackaged. And yeah, like mentioned, it's the only new B-side. I will never really understand the point of these um, repackaged albums. Like, the only way I think 
a repackage would make sense. Like, actually, the term repackage would be like, especially given the group uh, as an hyphen who is really young still, and where um, many of them still are developing, basically, like their voices would change in a few years. So, a repackage would make sense in the sense of like, you know, re uh, recording an album with their now matured voices and then add like new songs to that. That's how a repackage album would make sense to me. Instead, we just release it like a few months after the previous release and only add one new song, majority only to do it for, for additional sales. You know, it helps them um, money-wise, but like music-wise, we said they never get a lot out of these uh, repackaged albums. But either way, we still got one more B-side, so why should we complain? Instead, let's just lean back and enjoy this together, even though apparently this song was already released at some point in some capacity, or like was part of a show or so, but never officially released on audio. So I I've never heard it before, but that's only what I read um, about like, oh, Paul Rudolph suddenly getting an official release and whatnot. So yeah, let's check it out. And hyphens, six B side on their first album repackage dimension answer. Paula Red Love. Let's check it out. It's like a Polaroid love. Alright. Oh. Oh, I love this bright, playful sound. Talk to strings too. The BPM is very fun. Oh, okay. Mm. Oh, the vocals here sound really crisp. Great pre chorus. Ooh, I love the vibe of this a lot. This is something so chill and calming to it. Without being too slow, you know? And the spin at the beginning is really catchy too. Mmm. Ah, love the vibe. Oh, this be... Mmm. Such a fun addition to the album because otherwise we had a lot of heavy songs on this one. Oh, but this pre chorus, the transition is so smooth, you don't even notice it. We just continue the verse basically. So it's basically more of a second part of the verse. And we have the pre chorus, but. This song is so groovy. Like it's so it's so simple. It's so healing in some way. It's like a Polaroid love. Mm. This chorus melody is so fun. Oh man, this is such a fun song. But I love the Okay. Not too big fan of this drowned out voice edit here. That's like, you know, okay ish. Okay, then just add the pre chorus again, okay? It's like a Polaroid. Oh my god, this is in instantly so freaking catchy to sing along with. Hell yeah. It already has a sing-along bonus, along for that little line there. Doesn't need to be the entire thing, but it's like a Polaroid love. Mm. That chorus is really well done. But I love the vibe. Ah, oh, but okay. This is the only thing I can straight away say. Why not a little outro there to really have that final chorus give it that little like this like just have that little bit play for five more seconds so and end it there. Why you gotta end it immediately upon the final word? And why you gotta start it immediately upon the first word? You know what I mean? I always mention that. A little 5 second instrumental intro and a little 5 second outro just make the song feel so much more flourish because Otherwise, either way, you get thrown in 
to to like I don't know you know like you finish I don't know what's on it's like a totally different mood and atmosphere and you then immediately get jumped into this you don't have to time basically to prepare yourself for for the song and then um you're so into the vibe and so into all of it and then the song just ends abruptly because it doesn't have this uh cool down effect you know like this fade out little moment then as example we we we, we throw you into attention please you know that maybe be, might be a bit too abruptly. That's the only thing I can criticize uh, straight away, besides maybe only this bit here in the bridge was like, yeah, you know, like this bit here before we get to the uh, call my name here, I'm like, why well, we gotta put that voice filter over there, I think they have great voices, so I'm not really sure why we need to, you know, that's really the only thing about an hyphen still for me, I like their sound, I think they have great songs and they have a, they're a lot of fun to listen to, but I just want more of their raw voices, not that edited, you know, like mentioned, they have this group editing thing going on where they all go more into a similar tone direction, do do that, because just uh, the producers want this group sound uh, to the entire thing, uh, but he like we take out the entirety of the voice and make it like a you know like a uh, um completely um un you know a completely unusual voice. Not too big fan of that. Like it's it just doesn't really give me too much, you know, because it just doesn't sound as good as an actual voice would be. But that's the only thing I can really criticize about this because otherwise. It's sandy fun versus great playful uh, flow there and great melody in general. The top line is great. The pre-chorus is great with the long jack tone there that, that just sounds really good. But this chorus, it's like a Polaroid love. Na, 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 sounds fantastic. Another insanely catchy chorus. If there's one thing that in hyphen is really good at, or at least like in Hyphen's producers, is to give them great choruses and they then deliver them in a great way. We've had oh, so many great choruses, like especially Drunk Days or this one now as example. Such little catchy melody bits within these choruses to just make them feel so full, just make them feel so fun and just so good to listen and sing along to. That's what I always talk about. Some songs just have that sing along bonus where um, maybe another song may be giving you more sound waves, but that other song just gives you more to sing along with. That can evaluate the song even more than maybe this other song, you know? And that's certainly the case here. This is like a Polaroid love. You can sing that along throughout the entire song six times overall and it won't get boring at all. You can sing along with it instantly, like after the second or third listener, so like in the in the after the second or third chorus video for the song. Really damn good. Like mentioned, only thing I can criticize is no no intro, no outro. It's just I don't know, it just always feels a bit you know, it's it's a little fine detail that can make the song just a bit more um, satisfying with that. And like mentioned, this um, voice bit there for the for the first part of the bridge, instead of like letting them just sing um, themselves. But otherwise, Polaroid Love, extremely much fun. That chorus is such a fun time, and yeah. Alright, so this was part 2 of my Dimension Answer Reaction Plus review. If you enjoyed my reaction and review, go have a like down below to show me that you did. What are your thoughts on not just the free songs from this part, but the entire album in general now with the addition of the new song plus B-side. Tell me all the thoughts about it down below in the comments as well. And as always, if you enjoy what I'm doing, if you want to support me, you can let leave a sub as well or support my Patreon, it would help me a lot. And we see again each other with N-Hyphen. I still have my give and take and reaction uh, finish and everything like oh, also months ago, but that was is still fully blocked and I don't think I will be able to put that out unless i would um yeah like opposite stuff and you can see the video fully and whatnot like i don't know i have the same problem with g friends margo from the time from two so everything from late 2020 appears to be not working on this channel which is a freaking shame maybe one day it will be fixed but i don't think so i don't know hype just dislikes my channel for some reason but uh whatever for whatever content you may be interested in for whatever content you may want it in for obviously again soon on this channel stay safe have been happy have a great time have a great week and uh, see you again soon with more k reactions thanks for watching